Hello everybody, Patrick here. Uh, recently on the Vera forums a few people have asked how you can turn off your air conditioning if a door or window is left open for a short period of time. So let's look at how we would do that with Reactor. I've got a, uh, I've got a thermostat here that I'm going to control. I'm just using AVT uh, for that, for this demo purpose. And I've also got a door sensor set up here. And, uh, and I've got a brand new reactor sensor that we can work with. So if we take the, the quick straight line approach to doing this, um, we might do something like this. Let me go in and I'm going to add a group and I'm going to call this group door open. And I'm going to add a condition, device state. I'm going to choose my door sensor. And I'm going to choose just from the quick menu here when, uh, whenever the device is opened, whether it's armed or disarmed. And I'm going to pop open my options here, and in the condition is sustained for, I can put like 60 seconds. So if the door is open for a minute, then this condition is going to go true. And that's when I want to turn my air conditioner off. Um, for purposes of this video, just to speed things up a little bit, I'm just going to put in 10 seconds. Uh, but you can make this whatever delay you want. Um, so we've got that set up. So if we go over to our activities, then when door open is true, I'm going to do a device action and auto virtual thermostat set thermostat mode to off. You see off is on the menu there. And then when the door is open, I'm going to do auto virtual thermostat and set thermostat mode and I'm going to set it back to cooling or which is cool on. So, uh, and let me save this. So, You've probably already seen that there's a problem here or a potential problem is what if the thermostat wasn't cooling? What if the thermostat was in heating mode? Yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, let's go back and look at, at just how this operates the way it is. I'm going to go back out to the devices here and I'm going to manipulate my door sensor. And you can see my door sensor is now tripped. And in 10 seconds, which is the delay I gave, this thermostat is going to go to off. Just like that. No problem. And now if I close my door, the door sensor goes to untripped and my thermostat goes back to cooling. And so that's a real simple basic implementation of this. But there are two problems. One is the problem we saw where what if my thermostat is in auto mode, right? If I, if I put the thermostat in auto mode right now and I turn it, open the door rather, Give it 10 seconds. And it's going to go to off. Okay, fine. And now if I close the door, it's going to go to cool instead of auto because that's what we told it to do. So what we really want to do there is we want to have it restore the previous state, whatever state it was in. Um, so that's one problem. The other problem is that it kind of turns the thermostat on a little bit too fast. We have a delay going going to shutting the air conditioning off, and I think it would be appropriate to have a delay coming out of there too, just to dampen out, you know, any quick open and closes the door both ways. So, uh, so let's address both those things. First of all, I'm going to do this. We're going to go back in here, and I'm going to create two expressions, two variable expressions. The first one I'm going to call current state. And we're going to use this one to hold the current state of our thermostat. So I'm going to, I hit the uh, get state tool here. I'm going to use a get state function and choose the thermostat. I'm going to choose mode target, which is the current operating mode of the thermostat. I'm going to say use name because generally I like to use the name instead of a device number because the device number can change but my naming of devices is fairly consistent. So I'm going to I'm going to use name and insert that and save. Now if I run this right now it shows that the thermostat is currently cool on. The current value is cool on. Alright I'm going to add another variable. I'm going to call this one last state but I'm not going to give last state any expression. I'm going to leave it blank. If I don't provide an expression for a variable, Reactor will not touch that variable. It will not, it will not manipulate the contents of that variable. But I can test it. I can set it using an action and I can test it in conditions. So it'll hold whatever value I put in there. 
Uh, and so we're going to use that. So if I go over here, I'm going to go back to my conditions now. And I'm going to do two things. First of all, here on door open, I'm going to also add that I only want to do this. I only want to react to the door being open if the mode target, if this current operating mode is not equal to off. Okay, so this these actions are only going to trigger if the thermostat is not already off. So that's one little extra guard we're putting in here. Now I'm going to add another group and I'm going to call this group door closed and I'm going to add a device condition again for the door sensor but this time I'm going to say whether it's closed so now it's tripped equals zero instead of tripped equals one as it is up here and I'm going to give it a 10 second delay also that'll allow that door to go closed and then open without you know immediately banging the air conditioning on and off and now I'm going to add another test here uh, just to make sure that this reaction doesn't happen unless we have a saved state in last state. So last state is going to be blank. And choose my reactor sensor. Last state is going to be blank whenever this has not run, whenever this has not changed the mode. Um, so that's our clue here that nothing's happened and this shouldn't work either. So we're going to say last state not equals and we're going to leave this field blank. And I'm just going to save this. Okay. So here are my current conditions. And then if I go to expressions, just review here real quick my expressions. Last state is going to hold our saved state. Current state is whatever state the uh, thermostat is currently in. Let's go handle our activities. Um, now, when the door open, when the door open is true, we set the thermostat to off. Before we do that, we want to save the current mode of the thermostat. So we're going to add an action, device action, and I'm going to select my reactor sensor, and I'm going to choose the set variable action, and I'm going to save in last state, I'm going to save current state. So these uh, curly braces around the variable name mean don't write the variable name into last state, write the value of that variable into last state. So this is what saves whatever the current state is of the thermostat is going to get saved into last state. And I, knew, I need to do that before I turn the thermostat off, so I'm going to move this up one. So now I first have, I'll hit save real quick too because I like to do that a lot, um, I first have the device action uh, reactor sensor set variable last state to the current state, so save the current state, and then set the thermostat to off. Great. Now, I have a door open is false. I don't want that here. I have a separate condition now for handling when the door is closed. So I'm going to remove this. I've got a separate group, and that group is door closed. And in that group, what am I going to do? I'm going to put the thermostat back into the mode it was in. How do I do that? Well, I set up my thermostat, set thermostat mode, but then here I can either type or um, choose from the menu, if I double click here, uh, I can choose last state. And again, it's in parentheses, so it's not going to th set thermostat mode to the word last state. It's going to set thermostat mode to the contents of the variable last state, which will be whatever was saved up here before we turn the thermostat off. Pretty straightforward. All right, last thing we need to do. Once we've used last state, we want to throw it away so that we don't keep manipulating the sensor when we shouldn't do that. So we're going to set last state to blank. Let's go see how this works now, and hopefully this will work better for us. Okay, we're back out here. I'm going to open my door. And in about 10 seconds, my thermostat is going to switch to off. There we go. Now I'm going to close my door. And in another 10 seconds, not immediately because we took the immediate, uh, the immediate activity away, but now in another 10 seconds of the door being closed, it should go back to cooling. 
Perfect. Now, let's make sure that our restore of the current mode is right. Let's choose heat this time. We're in heat mode. And again, I'm going to open the door. And we wait our 10 seconds. And it goes to off. There it is. And now if I close the door and we wait 10 seconds, now it should go back to heat, not cool. Perfect. Okay, I want to show you two more things here. Let's go to the status screen for this and watch how it operates. All right, so here's current state. We left the thermostat in heat mode. All right, so the current state is now heat on and last state is blank. So our activities have been doing their work and we left our state blank, which is perfect. If I go and open the door, whoopsie. <laughs> if I go and open the door, we can see the door state changes. Our 10 second delay happens. And then, boom, these two conditions flip. But this condition doesn't go true. This group doesn't go true. It actually did go true, but because our activity manipulates the thermostat's mode target, it goes true, the activity runs and changes mode target, and that makes this condition immediately false. So it's a very, very fast progression that's faster than the UI can show. Um, this group goes true, the activity runs, does something that makes the that makes the condition false, and that makes the group false. But in any case, the activity has run, and we can see that the activity has run because, first of all, look up here at the current state of the thermostat. The thermostat is off, and last state is now no longer blank. It has heat on saved in it. So it's the heat, uh, the, the last value, which was heat on, has been saved, the previous value of current state. So that's how we know that this group actually went true and the activity ran. And if we, if we close our door, we'll notice the same thing with this group, right? Because we're testing last state here and our activity manipulates last state and sets it to blank. So as soon as this group trips, boom, boom, right? The group hasn't gone true that we can see, but it actually did fire because we've now restored our current state to heat on and last state is now blank, which is one of the things that the activity does. So just be aware that when you're when you when you set up an activity that manipulates something that's part of a condition that's that's being tested in a condition, you can have very fast transitions from true to false to true, or from false to true to false, uh, you know, that the UI can't show. The UI is not fast enough to show that transition, but it's actually happening. And you can see that evidenced in the state of the devices and in the state of other variables that you can observe. All right, so that is it for, at least for this basic look at solving this particular problem, how to turn off your AC um, when the door or a window is left open for a period of time. I hope this has been helpful to you. If this video has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up on it. And if you have any comments about the video itself or the way it's made, um, you can make those comments down below in the YouTube comments section. If you want to ask me a question about Reactor or you've got questions about specific details of this particular problem and how we solved it, then please, by all means, go to the Vera community forums at community.getvera.com and ask me a question. My name there is Rigpapa, R-I-G-P-A-P-A. -P -A. There's a complete uh, reactor category where you can ask all those questions uh, and you'll find a lot of other information about reactor as well and that's it and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks very much